Is Jeno Museven more smarter or we are stupid? Echibuze chwa lioche ebozi zako. Ndi, Museven imugezi nyo o baba na Uganda feba siru. Last week, Dr. Kiza Besije on NBS pointed out that after 35 years of bad rule by Jeno Museven, it's no longer important to blame him or NRM. Rather, it's the Ugandans to blame for our compliance and obedience to this bad rule. Dr. Kiza Besije last week ya liku NBS na gamba after 35 years of bad rule, e ya Museven Techi yako la makuru kumunenya oba kunenya NRM But rather kunenya faba na Uganda Aba kiriza ni tufugiwa obubi for 35 years Nga kati agenda muana In my right up I will excuse Ugandans from this debate and focus on the leaders. I would be unfair to blame Ugandans, many of whom are too lazy even to read such a piece of article. Many in universities who forge or forged courseworks. Many who know more players in English Premier League than they know in Uganda cranes. Ugandans who don't even cast a vote but are good at blaming government, at worst who are used by politicians to steal votes can be excused from this debate. Mchua ndi kuchinu, njaga loku excuse ingaba na Uganda abamu. Tufoka singenyo kubakule mbeze. Kumanga chiri very unfair, okutandi kukunenya, aba na Uganda, o aba na Uganda abamu. Nga abamu kubo, nuiba sanga atiko ungenu, tibasubo la kujisoma. Nga abalala, bali mu universities, neenga, ne coursework, bafo jinga nga mufo jinge, o aba mkuli, baba mkuli langa mkulezi. Katina abalala aba na Uganda, nga aba manyi aba za nyibanji nyomu Premier League, neenga tumu manyi aba za nyibanji nyomu Premier Uganda Cranes. Aba bali excused mwino debate. Aba na Uganda, aba talonda na kulonda, neenga iba nambe mu, mkutandi kukunenya government. Na abu, aba na Uganda bibamu, aba koze sebuwa, niba politician, niba bilo bulu wabu. Gwengunenya government, niinga ate oli omu kwa abu, niba koze so kubo bulu. Na oli excused mweno debate. Ugandans who enjoy watching uncut karakata than NBS frontline. Those who forward messages on WhatsApp without reading through, who enjoy discussing which celebrities dating who, rather than the state of economy, should also be excused from this debate. Kanamu aba na Uganda, aba nyumirwa uncut karakata, mifojo okula la programu, ezimu kumageze zizi imba, kwe NBS, nga NBS frontline. Namwe, biba wereza message, no loza nti message ili mwama kuru, no tajisoma na mu, nawe no forwarding, abu forwarding, zinehenga nebio forwarding, atobi manyi. Katinamwe, aba nyumirwa nyo, oku discussing, oku nyumia, ono ya wasizani, olia wasizani, rabadaba ya koze chino, olia wasizani, olia wasizani, aba nyumibia story evyo, na yenga, toma nyina state ya ekonomi yowe imiride, namwe, muli excused, mweno debate. Allow me now, to focus my debate on our leaders. Last month, some new blogs reported that Rakana Rugunda was retiring from politics. Somehow, this blog was helping him to have a safe exit. But because he was disillusioned or perhaps possessed, he went to the media to claim that revolutionaries do not retire. He seemed not to know that here we only have one Sabalwani called Jenotiba Habulwa. In his mind, Rugunda thought he was still relevant in Museveni's government, yet he was now an exhausted rug awaiting to be thrown away. Umwezo guwede, benda mwole bata ya nikuwa kuandika. Nchi wakana Rugunda agenda kuritayaringa from politics. Wakana Rugunda ya bade prime minister. Na banja guya didi mbigide. Ni ama lo kusoma blog zezu, nga bata ya nisomuwa andika ko. Actually, chali chimu yamba kufuna safe exit. Aberenga ye, aya retirings. Nienga umanya habantu wabela possessed. Mo politics. Rakana Rugunda ya vayo na agamba media na agamba na maulide ntiba revolutionalize, ntiba retiringa. Nienga ateye la bide chintu chimu. Ntimu Uganda, omuntu wa maa ilabanga revolutionary. Aitibua sabaluanyi, jeno tiba habuluwa. Okukakana, Rugunda ya bada subi danti, ali relevant, achali important, mu government ya Museven. Daba chiba mukoze, ba mukoze seza, ni mama ni bada amping awe, ni basula, ngechi simule chidi used. Ndi kubali daba fe, Honorable Rebecca Kadaga was seen cruising with jeno tiba habuluwa. In chisozi farm, somehow she thought she was part of the ruling equation. When she was advised to step down on speakership and go for vice presidency, a good transition to retirement, she claimed that she would not accept being under someone where she has no budget, power, or influence. Whereas the vice president has no power, Kadaga would maintain her title of right honorable, would be the second in order of presidents, and obviously would be assured of delivering condolences of Genoma 7 and representing him on birthday parties. After refusing a position of number two, Tibahabura gave her position number nine, which she embarrassingly settled for. Now she will be delivering condolence messages and reading speeches written by Honorable Nabanja. Ngavude kurugunda, tudeku Rebecca Kadag. 
Bamugamba a stepping it down ave kubwa speaker bagina mu vice president kadaga na gana na gana okubira number 2 ensonga ze ndiyaita sobola kola mu office etaina budget mu office etaina manyi mu office etaina influence kakati ya doba vice president mu Uganda toba na manyi ne kadaga yabadaga ina ku maintaininga title ye era yabadaga ina kubira number 2 in case ekintu chuna we kibao na e kakati ne kakati agenda kuba atambuza mabugo eyo ne wali afude kutwala message ya m7 na kugenda ku representing tiba habulwa mubafu ne ku birthday parties yagana ekifo cha number 2 oba vice president esawa zino ba muwadde ekifo cha number mwenda ba muwadde ekifo cha number mwenda atechizinge naku enyike no kuswaza na chikiriza kati esawa zino nga enkugambye will be delivering condolence messages ne chilala agenda kubanga ba mutuma ku mikolo atandiko kusoma speech is one dikidwa ne nabanja but this is the same kadaga who helped Museveni to ganga rape the constitution an act that she even defended in Supreme Court and media. Was Kadaga too naive not to have detected this? Couldn't Kadaga have learned from the past conduits like Jeno Kale Kaihula or Jeno David Sejusa? Or she learned nothing and forgot nothing? Choka Kadaga yomu ayayamba musebe ni barepinga constitution. Kadaga yomu yensonga luache saa wazino tiba habulwa yedemu ni yesimbao kumanga yu kwe simbao wazilonga za alimukalulu yali achime ncha jokola na inga ate constitution yandi mga anyo kuja ania muyamba kadaga na denima na mule ni yewana tuwa mula bakonga aline tiba habulwa echisozi kufamu na loza nti na yali mweyo equation na loza nti alina mpati mga wabagamba ba ino kule mbeda Uganda was kadaga tu naivu luachi ya kule mintu minuonga tachiru uoze zaku na ata detecting anti sawa zuna bagina kumusula luachi kadaga tia iga tia igira kubantua balalanga kaihura David Sejusa beba kozesa ni basula learned nothing and forgot nothing did they say that emptiest teens make loudest noise now this brings me to honorable chibule Ronald who carried a pistol to parliament to secure life presidents for his boss is he anywhere near cabinet what about honorable Anita who said that she had the support of the maje did the commander in chief send the maje to secure her future in Koboko or she was helplessly embarrassed what about Honorable Chiwanda, who codenamed himself as number four. Is he still number four? Maybe yes. Number four from the bottom. Bagamanti, ebi kebe, ebi di empty, ebi tali imuchi intu, ebi singo kuwa kerede. Kati yaono wenzija ku kono Honorable Chibule Ronald. Ya kuata pisto, na agena mupali ya menti, na asamba abantu, na ajisonga mubantu, nga alwa nila life presidency ya boss we, tiba habulwa. Esa wazino, mukabine niti tomula bako, Ronald Chibule. Tomula bako, basude, awona atini nziju kila anita. Ye janga iwa nagamba, ni na support ya maje, I have the support of the maje. Musafini ya sindika, amaje, eko boko, okusaki wali nga future ye. Gubali wa muangula, wabula ya sigara swadde buswazi. Atao, nenzi ja kuono, aye ita number four, yewe ilinyi antiye number four. Chuanda, aliwa, chuanda aliwa. Mpozi nga number four, okuva wansi. Did you hear of Professor Bukenya? When he called himself Mahogany, he used to dress and even walk like Sabaluanyi. While on his countrywide tours promoting upland rice, who knows? where the mahogany is rotting from. Do you remember when Professor Bukenya declared that he had never seen a good leader like Jeno Tiba Habulwa? It was my first time to see a professor reasoning like a UPE dropout and shortly we started seeing the mahogany cry of mafias. Let me hope they aren't the ones who scientifically sorted his son. All we know is that this was used to hoodwink the baganda that they had the next president. Mwenzia nitunu lida Bukenya. Professor Bukenya. Msaja Professor Mulamba. Mujiu kiyo sebi ya itanga mahogani. Chetuliko chenja galo tegele. Musebe ni mugezi nyo. Owaba na Uganda feba siru. Nina kugambia ba na Uganda. Betu ino kujia mweno conversation. Yani nitandika kuba kulembe zebaf. Deni tuja kufuna ansa anga maliris. Nitunu msaja nga Professor Bukenya. Ya vayo na agamba anti. Ya italaba anga mkulembe ze. Mulunji. Nga jenotiba habulwa. Umundi. Gwango gwaso kukulaba Professor. Umulamba na inga Arizona inga anga. Umuana wabu naba sobe. Atenga a drop in the out. UPE drop out. Na yu haite banga tono nyo. Nitula mahugu ni inga tani so kaba. Ni ba mafias. Katusubile. Nti umana we siwa msoti inga scientifically. Miechi nubachi koze sa. Ni bali tabu kenya au. Na hata niko kwa mbala anga sevo. Nga buza buza baganda. Nga balu uza antibai ina bali baina president ya dako. We used to have the super minister. Honorable mama mbabazi. He enjoyed some powers both in government and in the NRM party. During his time as security minister. He crafted the phone tapping law. To which he fall the first victim. He crafted a move to age out rebel MPs 
accusing them of demanding a transition and before the year ended he was successfully aged out of NRM. His removal was a surgical operation. The damage was minimized to the extent that when he weighed himself against his boss, his score was less than 1%. The last time I saw him, he was carrying a parcel, possibly an application letter. Recently, rumors circulated that he would bounce back, but it was not yet his time. Museven only forgives his enemies when they are too vulnerable and only need him as a life-saving machine. It seems the media hyped Mbabazi, making him appear a threat, and Museveni chose to postpone his pardon until Mbabazi is too vulnerable to pose a threat to him. Anyway, the list is endless. The list is endless. Look at Betty Kamia. Betty Kamia, who said Museveni was more intelligent than 80 ministers combined, is now in Museveni's garbage pit. Betty Kamia, Yagama Museveni, Mugezi, no single minister, will nechi nana, Sazna, Mkasasruwa Museveni. Edward Sekandi, who was very loyal and humble, is now in limbo. Christopher Chibanzaga, who was used to neutralize his brother, Renzulu King. Charles Mumbere, in exchange of a ministerial post, cannot now even call the state house switchboard and is picked. The list is endless. Edward Zekandi, Aliwa, Yalilo Yonyo, Hambo, Goin Betty Kamiesas, Nali Mugabeji Yam Seven, Nenga Yagam Seven Mugazi Nyo, no singer minister, Echinana, Nurum Sajan, no Christopher, Chibanzaga, Yaliam Moruque, Renzulu King, Charles Mumbere, Yamuliam Moruque, Yam Muganda Woruque, Nibamumarao, Charles Mumbere, Nibamumarao, Royal Christopher, Chibanzaga, Nenga Venevi Colevio, Ngayagara Fuchawa Minister, Esawazino, Nesimia State House, Tasola Jukubane Itam, Obaneva Jukuata. So, ngati tunama kutani kakweni nyanyo faba na Uganda Balida bafi But following the most of the time Biebine bintu bazenga bakola Museveni has not only used individuals for his political survival But he also used Baganda and Mengo to fight his war And legitimize his struggle And how did he pay them? Mizo gamba Museveni akweza sabantu chino muneda Museveni One of his echimu yambi mpolitical survival ye Yakweza sabuganda Abaganda mugane wa mukirize Museveni akweza sabuganda Yakweza sabuganda ni Mengo kumuru anile Talo, no legitimizing a struggle, Jabengeri Javasa Sudem. The Swahili say, Asanti Yapunda, Niteke, the appreciation of a donkey is a kick. Museven has paid Buganda by kicking them out of their land. He has answered them by making them squatters, beggars, and pity traders in their motherland. Buganda, which used to be a food basket and which used to produce coffee, is now producing comedians and hawkers. Yengiri Jabba Sasudem, Bulumaya Yamani, Nti Buganda Yali Food Basket. Bali number one mukulime mwani, esawazino, abaganda, ba producing aba comedians na batembe. Buganda, I mean. But you fought this money's walls, and this is how he's paying back. The Swahili say, Asanti Yapunde ni take. The appreciation of a donkey is a kick, and the way he has paid Baganda by kicking them out of their land. Now it's the turn for Acholi and Lango to be used. Look at Honorable Jacob Olanya, Honorable Owini Dolo, Honorable Richard Fadong, all now are the torchbearers. Honorable Beatrice Anywa, Okelo Oriem, Hilary Onek, are two, they are also on the list. I hear now Nobat Mao talks well with Tibahaburwa. I can't tell what they talk about whenever they meet. I don't know whether this will be smarter than their predecessors who were used in the past and dumped. Sawazino, Abali Mulain, Bebantube Ngulweyo, Tuna Jako Bolanya, Winnie Dolo, Twadong, Nabala Labanji Nyo, Woginamba Jeno, Abali Maje, Kachabe Ngulwe Bali Mulain. Puridanti, no but mao nemo seven nabin na kuzino, bogi la bulunji nyo, semanyi chiche banyu miyako eba meeting. Neka tsu bidenti boba gezi, okuzinga kubano, abadeo, beba koze seza, nemamani baba sura, used and dumped. So the question remains, who is the problem? What is the problem? Is it Museven who uses or who drinks? people or is it us Ugandans both ordinary and leaders that are responsible for the mess have we given up on defending our country that we are eager to take the crumbs that Museven throws in our face or do we have the stamina to stand tall and be seen to speak loud to be heard Echibuze chiruo obuzibubuliwa obuzibulieri fe ba na Uganda Museven ba koze seza na ukuli mbali imba wengamba ba na Uganda ntegeza fe ba ordinary Ugandans na ba kule mbeze ba fe anyali responsible ne mesen did we give up defending our country nti katu kiliza na ukulia bo leftovers bo nabo na Museven bu haba tsuli dene tulia o watu cha ina stamina ena imi lida tuogere tuluane mpaka nge doboziri ya fe ili ulidua so as Dr. Kizabesi just said it is no longer important to blame 
same NRM and Museveni after 35 years. He said Ugandans we are stupid. What is your take? Ngandani ka neba gambi muli mwaba na Uganda wata ina kubela mweno debate. Elanga guwoli kumu kubano toba ina mweno debate. Ne odion teku kwa atako. Wubango manyi abaza nyi bomo pira mo English Premier League banji nyo ne inga tumayiba limo cranes. Uganda cranes. Eno debate teku kwa atako. Wubango liyo mkwa abo abali mu university ne inga ne koswa katu wa mwoko liranga. Bakwele la mwoko liri. Eno teku kwa atako. Wubango liyo mkwa abo ne bakweleza information ne yoro kubwa mpamfu ne inga nunji ne ino utasuma mwene ino forwarding abo forwardingzi. Bino tebi kwa atako. Wubango li mkwa mwa na wubango li mkwa mwa na Uganda. Nga gonyu miruwa nyo anikati karakata. Ukusingo ukula wa programu. Nga NBS Frontline. Programu zizi mbe zini mwa magezi. Eno odio teku watako. Wubango li mkwa mwa. Nga gonyu miruwa nyo kutegero. Ono celebrity ya wasizani. Ono celebrity ya chaya. Ono celebrity ya badechine. Nga toma ina state ya ekonomi ya Uganda. Eno odio teku watako. Mbagala nyo. Peace.